Joining me now is former Acting Attorney General Matthew Whitaker. Matthew, I want to know, is anyone going to sanction the judge or the Attorney General, Letitia James? Yeah, Stuart, good to be with you this morning. Uh, the, the short answer is it's too soon to tell. You know, this uh, reduction by the appeals court in New York suggests that they even thought that Judge Engeron's uh, decision was excessive uh, and, and obviously uh, beyond what was allowed under the law. And, you know, the case might fully be reversed because if you uh, remember the details, it's the, the facts are pretty straightforward. The loans that were subject to these alleged frauds were paid back in full with interest. The bank said they'd do more loans in the future with President Trump, and, you know, they didn't believe that they were defrauded. Now, you know, whether or not uh, any uh, bar complaints have been filed against Judge Engeron or Letitia James, you know, ultimately that's going to be a separate proceeding. But, you know, based on how this case turns out, and especially if courts reverse the entire case, uh, you know, that would suggest that the judge and maybe the prosecutor went beyond their bounds and could be subject to some sort of sanctions for sure.